The question is, can they do it twice? The team Empire, they are four players from that roster. Everyone always said, you... Started on the flank as well, versus oh, Brisbane. They've got this in. entire map locked down, and they're looking to start things out with a flawless round. It's all up to Philippox to stop them on the castle, but it's not going to be an easy one for him as he tries to peek around. Versus Pro have taken their eye off the ball a little bit, and they let him pick up joystick. But now, Philippox drops back to sight, and there's 55 seconds for him to hold on. A bit of a consolation kill more than anything else. Tim, it's worth noting not a single gunfight has taken place in the base or around kitchen, around the hallway, around the normal areas of trap on this tournament. Outside of that, I think he's gone about neutral when it comes around to his KD, but has been quiet in a lot of these big games for them, except for that map one yesterday. And the team, no doubt, are looking at him for a big performance today. Absolutely. One versus three now. Shepard, a breath away from death. Surely just going to be a matter of time. A minute left on the clock, so he can use a few of those seconds, see if he can maybe bait out a kill here, bait out a peak from W7M, but it doesn't look like they are going anywhere. They know they've got their positions, they know they've got their angles, and they can hold on. And this, Des, just goes to highlight a point that I'm... You guys are the ones trying to force your way in through a single doorway, and there's more of us than there are you. Casey just holding that angle, and it's as easy as one, two, three. We're going to find ourselves now 3v2, as Pasha does manage to brute force one on his way in. Shepard's going to rotate and join him, and you've got to wonder why, Des, this wall wasn't opened up. 20, 30 seconds ago. It was a left to five earlier in the round. Finally got sorted out once Hurts went down, but Shepard is in for one. Is he good for two more? Huge in clutch. He knows he's in a difficult spot here, 1v4. He's just trying to level the odds as much as he can, but even with the jiggle peak, doesn't find his man. Not much to do. <laughs> I mean, say not much to do. At least dome down the player on the other side that's been lethal in this round, always with a 3K. The team do manage to get the diffuser downs in, but I think, like you said, this one feels like a bit of a foregone conclusion. There's no way Verdas Pro inside 20 seconds expose all three players to one versus ones, lose them, and see it crumble from there. They've also got the Verdas on the upstairs. They're ready and waiting by the looks of it for the castle barricade to come down. Herd's all too aware, but look, it's the discipline being shown, exposing nothing to the other side. ...have been forced back into sight. Virtus Pro needs to just take a breath here. Or they just need to shoot them through the floor. Oh, that works too, I suppose. Yeah, that's also a... Uh, we'll take that. A one for one in the round and a spray through some soft surfacing. For us down to a three versus one. VP got 40 seconds to play. But, Tim, I'd count any W7M player in a 1VX and you'd still give them an odds of walking away the winner. You really would. You know that they've got it in the locker. And right now, oh, JV sees one, but he can't find his shot. He goes for the one, that's and horrible. just before the flash, he manages to hit the head of Dan. He's fighting with Blue, and that's where Buffett with one in return on the trade. But the diffuser oh, is going to start going down. Dan's got to do something. He can do nothing. JV92 finds one. It's all alone for Shepard once again. One versus three, diffuser down, and a mountain to climb. But he takes the first step, Des. He finds one, can he find two more? It's always Mind poor Shepard stuck in these 1VXs, and sadly, Tim, as clutch as he might be at the best of times, you're not against any old team here. You are against arguably the best team in the world. That will be proven tomorrow if they make it through this game. One hanging inside a motor, one more sat actually. Looking towards Hatch for Leapox on main stairs, Casey coming towards Blue. They're getting that surround set up once again. This really will test Virtus Pro's metal here. In a straight up five versus five on site itself. How do you fare? So far, a one one between the two. Here we go then. This is what it's going to come down to. 40 seconds left. The push comes in. Pasha finds Nate. JV92 onto Joystick. This kill's going in every direction here, Des. Dan manages to find one. Pasha a second for the round taking for Lee Pox down. It's all up to JV92. 1v3 and super low health. Virtus Pro are not doing any more. It could be enough. These two Titans are going one for one. Time and time again. Always does an amazing job to get one kill and slow down the push. But W7M continue the brute force. JV. Low health for Leapox, low health, even lower as more damage is done, leaving us two versus three. Dan and Pasha trying their best to hold on here, but the pressure keeps mounting as W7 get in, they get the down, but there goes another. Pasha, 1v3 to a 1v2. Can he close this out for Leapox is down? The push is going to come. information. The Warden to try and negate any cheese plays, but it can still happen. Here we go, here comes the juju train. The lead box is straight in. Finds one for himself, won't be able to do that. Very long. Makes it a two. Could have found himself a third there, almost. I think had a spot to catch out the player that was dropping down a gadget. But a 4v3, W7 having control. 
Shepard Bulls as well, and the W7M Bulls, they do not stop charging. The momentum is terrifying right now as they just head on into South. Well, it's a real stinger. They dropped every salvo down at once, and things now are turning instead towards the exothermics. Joystick finds himself on the deck. 4v3 for W7M. Yeah, this is not great for Virtus Pro lose this one, and they will find themselves a map down and moving on to Charlie Casey. I don't think that they know that he's creeping down Dirt Tunnel oh, here. Got he's no going to have an absolute him. field there, Des. He's, he's just going to be out. in there for a freebie. Finds one, leaves us now. Effectively, one of Virtus Pro. Apasha manages to pick up Nade. He's going to need a lot more than that. Three, even they'll take Charlie. You've Ban Chalet, they'll take Night Haven. They always have something to see where this W7M push develops. They're not really going to have multiple angles at the minute. They're just going for brute force, but I think they've just dropped away to that main breach as well. It's JV on the hatch here that really can be being protected. For Lee Pox has got the blue cover. You've got one watching hatch for connection at the same time. This should let the diffuser go down, but it's the retake you've now got to worry about. Dan explodes forward. They work their way past JV, and now the retake comes up behind as well. Joystick up the blue blue. Step across for Leapos, puts him in the dirt. It's 2v2, Tim. And there is work to be done here for Virtus Pro, and not a lot of time to do it. Solarium stairs to try and get himself back into the fight, just holding that angle through bathroom, but it's going to be a real tough one to hold on to that top floor now with the numbers stacked against him. I've seen a couple of people on Twitter just saying it's an absolute delight to watch W7M's attack because the timing of their execute, and I mentioned back in map one, the patience are unrivaled at this tournament. It feels like a no phase wait for them, of course, in the grand final, but as we've already said, it feels like there's something a little bit special brewing in this Sao Paulo. The push and the fight is on the blue stairs. Philippe Ox picks up always, Big. but what a huge double from Dan. He's going to have to move away as the near comes in, but there's another for Joystick. Four versus one now as Virtus Pro have collapsed all over this W7M attack. Dan really the big deleted there at the top of library stairs. You see them employing a similar sort of strap. You see now the Virtus Pro across the last couple of days. Overwhelmed with flashbangs, force your way forward and take those gunfights. But when a warden is present, that's why things like decide to side, but instead on the back corner of trench, of course, nearly ran his way all the way through those razor blooms that were ready and waiting. Covered the fuse. The spot here to make the push work. Did actually reinforce it off after making use of this earlier into the round, but have got to make this challenge happen on towards blue. If it doesn't come on through, they simply can't get into the site. But by the looks of it, they're in. He's got a plan. Shall I learn, Tim? That is a huge risk not being able to move forward. They haven't dealt with the evil eyes. It's falling apart a little bit, but they're finding the kills. It's 1v2. Four seconds left to go after it all shakes down. And Dan has got. Eat them and keep them at bay and take this up to a 5 3. Otherwise, things get tied up at 4 4 instead. For now, it's worked as well. Library stairs. This might be a great spot to get into. If you can retake the top floor here while JV holds sides itself, that blows this round wide open. KZ literally marching his way through. Seen out by a drone that was at his feet just now. That's to back away from this one. Also, of course, not forgetting that camera has been hacked and taken over. Imagine by Dan, but it could have also been the KZ. Tell there he is, found his man, that's all he needs, Tim. Exactly that, fantastic. Just really closes out the round more than likely, JV92. He's trying to do one versus three now. 60 seconds to play as well. Virtus Pro have got every right and every opportunity to take this up to map point and career us through the border for our third and final map. Philippe Ox on the swing can find nothing. Pasha deleting him from the server. And Nade and KZ have got to hold on. It's going to be such a tough job for them now. Two versus five, 40 seconds as well. An awful lot of time and pressure that he's going to need to be absorbed. Nade is going to have to leave the wall. It's been open. <gasps> Kizzy. Oh, no. Do they know about him? Yes, they do. Always. Oh, have to steer away. I think Shepard knows they haven't got the control they need. The 60 seconds to play him, but I feel they have to retake upstairs. Virtus Pro do Great have job. time to do that if they want to. 50 seconds, Dan finds JV92, and then he goes to have a look. Hertz has actually pushed away from the hatch, so there is an opportunity for Virtus Pro to get themselves <laughs> inside the site. Shepard takes it. He will find himself running through the FNAT, but there is no more utility this time. Dan can hold the long angle, and there's an found opportunity it. to get this diffuser down, and that's what Shepard are doing. Virtus Pro performance on Chalet. The problem is repetition across maps has always been the sticking point for some of these big... Haven't had any of those huge clutch moments, really, from ah. W7M, where they managed to lock out these rounds and get it over the line, and that's something that they're going to have to start delivering here on border. They know that Nate's here. That drone was sat inside a fountain of Shepherds the whole hey, time, hey. just giving away all the information. He's now backed away, but at least they've seen the movement and know where it is that he's holding. Hurts trying to pull back towards the side. It's a bit of a 2v1 on the main stairs. 
But Hertz came off a little bit worse for wear. Still able to be recovered here. And my god, do they need him, Tim? Otherwise, never mind. JV's down as well. Nade is in a one versus four. This would be a clutch from heaven if he pulls this off. And it just feels like W7 held that ground and never conceded it. Defender Three players left and hard. Hertz sees his man but doesn't manage to make the challenge. JV also falling onto his backside. Verdus Pro both. building in confidence. Dan onto a 3k. Feeling like a very comfortable closeout. In fact, no, sorry, it's always onto the 3k. Makes it a quad. Will we see an ace coming out here from him, Tim? Certainly a possibility, Nate. It's just going to play underneath. To he knows there's very little he can do. He prevents, no. the, he prevents the ace, prevents the forward. But that is likely to that we find Virtus Pro in. They are just ah, all over to that east to side. They've got a little bit of presence on CCTV balcony east there, but nowhere near sight at the minute. They need to find some pills. They need oh, to dislodge W7M, but KZ, he finds another onto Pasha, and it's lucky like a big ask for Virtus Pro in round four. Now I'm barely inside the building this round, Tim is the best part for W7M. Always might find himself a consolation kill. But four players still ready to bear down on him. 50 seconds to go and he can't see. Toffee, Tim. Almost got this, Tim. Certainly can. Bash is just going to be using that vertical angle, keeping an eye on things in sight, trying to get something going. They just need one kill, you feel, to spark them into action, to be that catalyst to push them forward. Joystick knows that there's a man inside of Towers. He doesn't know about JB92 in blue, though. As he gets cut down, it's all up to Dan. 1v3 becomes a 1v2. He has time, but he's playing Ring Around the Roses here. He needs to find another one, at least, before he can think about the end of this round. He takes health off JB92, and that stops him peeking out. Oh! And any for the minute. And that is now Virtus Pro with 30 seconds left to use this map control. This has been the most tense round of the bunch so far, I think. We're down to the last 30 or so. W7M have been sort of pushed back by Virtus Pro every time it's come to an engagement, but not without suffering some wounds of their own. Dan, a single bullet away from death. The sky is falling down on the remaining W7M players, but the clock waits for no man. 10 seconds, the drop comes on through. Flash is looking for one. Philippe Box whips it a bit. Dan finds him in on. Can't quite see the head, though. And I think at this point, Virtus Pro is a little bit of panic stations. They realize there's no way back into this one. It's on the hard floor. They find one. Joystick will do what he can, but the man is in there behind the shield. The window's being protected. W7M has done enough. Shepard can look on, but with only 15 seconds to go, this one looks like a bust, and the Brazilian team will take the first round in the second half. Almost certainly. Shepard heads his way upstairs, but time ticks down, and there is not going to be enough of it left for him to do anything here, even. Happens in reverse, it's absolute disaster for Virtus Pro, and it's Joystick that wins out the 1v1. And Virtus Pro, they needed that. That really breaks the back of the W7M attack. They're going to have to reposition, they're going to have to move, they're going to have to find a couple of kills. They've got time, and Nade gets a red ping. He goes looking for his man, but Joystick it will know that he's being hunted down because that red ping will have told him everything he needed to know. Joystick, he knows where he wants to go and what he wants to do. He finds himself three in the round. Will it be a quad? I can barely watch this through my fingers at the minute, Des. It is becoming so intense between these two teams. Hurd is just lurking around, waiting room, seeing if he can pick anybody up. But W7M are taking a lot of chip damage along the way. KZ has been hit. Hurd's below half. Nick is in a position to get this diffuser down. And I don't think there's anything that Virtus Pro can do about it. They've managed to stick it, but kills come in on the retake. Always and Pasha could be pushing them towards a match point opportunity. A series point off it. Information making it quite safe for the plays we've made by the Valkyrie. Philippe Box has got the one on main stairs though, wants to try and cut his way through. Little does he know, he's a matter of pixels away from a couple of players there. One on main stairs, one that has tucked in. Almost essentially a kill coming through, always getting away on 25 Dagger HP. Last 60 seconds, rough. Tim. A so close for W7M to get that great Dagger opener that the they needed, but it doesn't happen. And is that going to be the end of this story? Is it going to be so close, but so far? JV92 and Hurts find kills. Joystick gets one back. The diffuser's going down. KZ gives them an opportunity before being downed himself. Five versus three now. Elite 4v3, make it 3v3, two players are down, Tim. It looks okay at face value, but if they can't recover either of those two players, it's over. And Dan, with a run out, they've made it on top, Tim, a 3k for joystick. What the hell are these rounds?
Virtus Pro, they might just be able to drag this over the line. Oh, oh, they get the themselves the coordinates joystick again. Here we've already seen him have the 4K. Can he finish it off this time, Des? Can he find the ace nade? His low health. <laughs> they may as well be, Tim. Virtus Pro stalling out a little bit. They're just struggling to get themselves established inside of the building. KZ just again in that spot that we saw joystick so effective from last time around. Can't quite dislodge him, 40. can't quite have the impact that they need on him. The clash starts coming forward, and as the seconds tick by, that shield becomes more and more important. JB92 with kill after kill after kill. Hurts, he finds one. Four versus one now. It's all too easy for W7M to get the pinch on him. Pasha just hitting the deck, trying to keep himself safe again, just trying to keep map control here, Virtus Pro. They're keeping W7M at the boundaries. His border, don't let the attackers in. Hurts, he manages to find the first on to always. The crowd erupts, but Dan levels it off. JB92, KZ 